Saturn's beautiful rings make the planet one of the most fascinating objects in the solar system. Today, space probes such as Voyager and Cassini have studied the rings in close detail. But before we had the ability to lob robots into deep space, how did astronomers know that Saturn's rings were made of small grains of dust and ice? Saturn's rings were first seen by Galileo in 1610, but his telescope was not powerful enough to discern them as rings, and he only described the planet as having lobes, which Galileo thought might be moons. It wasn't until 1655 that Huygens, using a more powerful telescope, was able to see that the lobes were actually a disk surrounding the planet. For more than two centuries there was much conjecture among astronomers as to the nature of the rings. Most astronomers, with a few notable exceptions such as Giovanni Cassini, believed that the rings were solid. By 1852 several astronomers had observed that you could actually see the globe of Saturn through one of the rings, and the solid ring hypothesis began to fall out of favour. Around that time, James Clerk Maxwell showed mathematically that the rings could not be solid or liquid because they would break up. Maxwell concluded that the rings must be made of a huge number of solid particles. In 1887, astronomer Hugo von Seeliger proposed a test that could confirm or refute Maxwell's hypothesis. If the rings are made of particles, then some particles will cast shadows on others or block them from view. Then when Saturn approaches opposition, that is, when Earth is between Saturn and the Sun, the shadows would no longer be apparent from that viewing angle and the rings should surge in brightness. Astronomers made careful measurements of the brightness of Saturn's rings and showed that they changed in brightness exactly as Zeliger had predicted, and so concluded that the rings must be made of small particles. This effect came to be called the Zeliger effect, though it's now known that it is not the only phenomenon that causes the rings to surge in brightness. Another mechanism, called coherent backscatter, which works on a similar principle to cat size on the road, also contributes to the brightening of the rings. The total effect is called opposition surge and is not unique to Saturn. The Moon, Mars and asteroids all exhibit this effect. The use of the Zeliger effect to determine the nature of Saturn's rings is a stunning example of how astronomers, using only observation and careful analysis, are able to overcome vast distances and explore the cosmos.